This is a video about how to use uh, the Ultimate CD, which is a diagnostic CD for testing out different things on your uh, computer. It can test your hard drive, it can test your memory, uh, it could uh, be used for looking and seeing at the hardware on your computer. It's a real nice uh, diagnostic tool to have. It can especially be used for um, you can use it to uh, zero out or format your hard drive. So, uh, before you start, what you need to do is make sure that your uh, computer is set in the BIOS, in the boot boot up uh, section, or the boot, boot startup section, to uh, start out with booting up from uh, CD first, so that it can pick up the CD. Um, so let's get started. We'll go ahead and turn on the computer now. We're looking at the blank screen. And the computer is booting up. This is a Dell machine. And there's the uh, boot scripter for the Ultimate CD. And as you can see, it booted up pretty fast. And you can see your options. That's the hard drive uh, option. Right there. And you can see the rest of your hard drive and your uh, memory diagnostics, Linux uh, diagnostics. diagnostics. This uh, CD will work for uh, just about any computer, whether it's Linux or Windows. Uh, it doesn't. Really, it hasn't been tested out. I haven't tested it out on um, Apple yet. Uh, so you let's say you want to uh, test out your hard drive. Uh, you want to make sure that you hurry up and uh, make your choice, or it'll, it'll go down to the boot um, prompt. But no problem. It's just a simple matter of just rebooting your system. And it'll boot back up to the CD. Once again, this is the diagnostic software for the Ultimate CD. You should be able to just Google it and download it from somewhere. And the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and test out the hard drive. Now normally for any IDE hard drive, what you want to do is choose number 4 for Seagate. And all you got to do is just press 4. And it will go through its little boot up process. You don't have to do anything at this point. Just let it go through its uh, little diagnostics. And right now... Um, it's going to boot up into uh, Seagate. There it is right there. And that's just telling you about the, um, the user agreement. You can just press the enter button to get past all that. And then right here over on the left hand side you're going to see the different diagnostic tools that you can use. Uh, you got for Seagate hard drive, you can use either the short or the extended diagnostics. That only works for Seagate. Uh, uh, yeah, for Seagate. And for all the other uh, hard drives, uh, whether they're Nextdoor, uh, Western Digital, Hitachi, Toshiba, you want to use the general diagnostic. So you just push the pull down arrow until you get to the general generic diagnostics and then you just press enter and then you'll see right here what you want to do either quick diagnostics or full diagnostics or ex exit we want to go ahead and do a quick diagnostic and then it'll pull out the hard drive that you're looking for which for us is the Mac store so you just press enter and as you can see it'll go through its little test as you can see on the left hand side it's doing the diagnostics and on the right hand side it's showing you 
what is past and what is checking. And down at the bottom, you can see you have a little uh, a little test gauge to show you how much longer you have. And then if you want to stop it, then you can press the escape key. Depending on how big your hard drive is, this shouldn't take too long. But if you got something like a hundred gigs or so, you might be hundred gigs or more, two, three hundred gigs, you might be waiting for a while. This right this right here happens to be a hundred and sixty gigs, so yeah, it's not gonna take too long. And then at the end of the diagnostics, it'll tell you whether or not your hard drive passed the test. It's almost done here. And as you can see, you have a green light. It says the drive is good. Once you're done, all you have to do is just press the enter button. And you're done. Now, if you want to pull a little, generate a little report, as you can see, it says right there, you can view generic diagnostic report file. It's going to be a little small report file, and uh, it's going to be on. <laughs> it's going to be generated on the um, on the command line. <clears throat> In order to retrieve it, you'll need a floppy. Well, a floppy disk. I usually never do. I just go ahead and scroll down to exit, and then I press enter, or I, or I uh, hit the down arrow. Then you come to the prompt again. That's how you can. I use that as a generic, um, uh, a generic tester of uh, of most of my IDE drives. And then, if you want to go back into it, uh, you'll just need to reboot it. However, by hitting the Control Alt Delete button or turning it off and turning it back on. And as you can see, it's rebooting again. And there's the boot scripter once again. And this time, let me go ahead and show you the tools that I like to use for zeroing out or formatting the hard drive. I choose number nine, autoclave wipe hard drive. And as you can see, it gives you a warning. It's going to tell you that if you use it, then you're going to have to, it's going to permanently erase everything. I just press enter to go on past this. And again, it's going to go through its little diagnostics. It's going to read the hard drive. And then you're going to come to this prop where it says, you cannot undo any changes you make using this disk. Please type, I understand, minus the quotes to continue. And you need to type it exactly as it is. I'm going to try and do this with one hand. Because, yes, you do need to type large letter I. And then understand. And then the dot at the end. Don't forget the dot. Oops. Dot. Okay. You type in I understand. Make sure you spelled it right. Because if you don't, it won't work. And it takes you to this next prompt where you can see it pulled up my hard drive, which is a Mac store. And it shows the size, which is 160. And then it says, please choose a drive for more information. Now, this if you have more than one drive, it will show both drives in here. Uh, if you have, you know, however many drives you got, uh, it might show uh, SATA drives, 
but um, it usually isn't good for formatting uh, SATA drives. IDE drives are just about the only thing that this, uh, this software will do. If you want to do uh, SATA drives, you'll probably need to download the more updated version of the um, Ultimate CD. So, we go ahead and choose one since that's the only drive we have. One is chosen, and you press enter. And then you have your options. It says, what level of confidence would you like to erase this disk? And then you have number one for zero disk only. That's going to only do one round. Number two for random pass. Number three for binary overwrite passes. Then you have uh, number four, which will do ten passes. And number five, which will do 25 passes. Now, keep in mind, how fast this is going to go depends on how big your hard drive is. Anything past 60 to 100 gigs is probably going to take all night, especially if you do uh, number three or above. It just depends on you how, how, how hard you want to wipe that hard drive. If you want to make sure that everything is off and that no one else can recover it, you might, I usually choose number three. So you might want to choose number three or above. Otherwise, if I'm just like for a customer, I usually just use number one, zero disk only. That usually works for, for uh, my purposes. Anyway, uh, that's the end of this video. This is a... Uh, showing you how to use the ultimate CD to perform some diagnostics and like I said uh, if you want to download it you should be able to download it from free just go to Google and uh, type in the search box the ultimate CD and uh, you should find some links that will take you there and uh, it's a pretty good uh, diagnostic tool I've been using it for the past five or six years and uh, I like it so Thank you very much for watching this video, and uh, you guys have a very good day. Bye-bye.